Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Tonight, I really wanted to touch on something that's just a bit different than usual. I wanted to look at the Linux side of things and check out a free Chrome extension called Ubuntu Free Online Linux Server. It's a fantastic new free component that could be huge. Let's check it out. <laughs> Once again, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. I'm so glad you're joining in tonight. This is going to be very exciting. Typically on this channel, I try to go through the cheap or free art technologies to surface them for your benefit so you can know about the fantastic tools that are out there that you may not have heard of. Um, I do the best I can to build up a community of learning just so that we're helping each other and encouraging each other and really driving each other towards uh, our crafts and our goals and getting to the place we want to be. So thank you for joining in. So tonight, Ubuntu Free Online Linux Server. This is a really cool concept in that it is a free Chrome extension. It's in there in the Chrome Web Store. Go check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. This will spin up on demand a Linux server, a virtual machine, and it seems to be fully capable. I haven't found any limitations. I'll admit that my experience with Linux is, is not quite as extensive. In fact, it's very, very small, um, but I'm learning fast. And um, having said that, I'd like you to go check it out, especially those who have used Linux. This could be really useful uh, for an on-demand situation where perhaps you have a sudden loss of a computer or you're on the go and don't have your computer. This is an alternative to get you up and running with some interesting resources. So it's very easy to add and install. And it's also very quick to spin up a virtual instance. I'll do that now. There's a few uh, flavors of Linux here. I'm focusing on Ubuntu Genome tonight. Try out the others if you like. I haven't yet. You'll notice very quickly that there are ads on this experience. It's free. So you can deal with that. It's well worth it. So that's going to spin up desktop here, and this is going to look very familiar for anybody who's used Ubuntu before. It warns you up front that the root password is 123456. That is important. <laughs> Don't lose that. So from here, really, it's a pretty simple process just to cook something up. sudo apt get install. I'm going to do Krita because that's what I know. You could do GIMP. You could do really anything that's in the apt catalog. I'm going to punch in the password here that we just talked about. This comes up sometimes. I'm not a Linux expert, but I found that I can seem to get through this if I just try a few times. I'm not quite sure why we have this, but yeah. And I know that's not the right command, but Uh huh. Install. That should work. There we go. A few times, you may run into that. Going to continue. That should spin it down, and this really shouldn't take much time. It seems to have a very hardy back end to it. Uh, for getting the components, it really doesn't take a whole lot of time, which is a surprise. You'd think it would be slighted, but uh, it actually seems to be quite, quite powerful. So we're going to give this just a minute to kind of spin through. For anybody who's used apt get, you're familiar with this process. And again, I'm putting on Krita. You could do this with GIMP. You could do this with really any uh, APT published thing, and there's a whole mess of them out there. So it's time like this where I probably should strike up a conversation about something. I'm not sure what that would be. We can talk Krita for a second. Oh. Gosh, there we go. We got it. <laughs> so that's loaded. So we can go to the search PC. And this is not all that different from Windows really right now. So any Windows users out there, it's the same idea. You just do a search and you punch in what you're looking for and it finds it for you. 
and we're in. And anybody who's used Krita, this should be familiar. It's really just a matter of getting things started once it finishes up here. There we go. And you start up a new image and away we go. I'm just gonna stick with the defaults here. And there's the usual tool set, usual things that you would be familiar with. Now, this is not going to be a super perfect, you know, fully loaded thing that you would need in every case and scenario, but this does offer some very interesting approaches to, gosh, I really need to get out an image, I need to do this very simple quick touch up to it, and I don't have my computer, and I'm in Iceland, and, you know, all, all I have access to is, is uh, you know, a machine with Chrome. So you could feasibly get this done. Now, you could get other things done while you're in the session uh, that are not just graphic related. There's a whole lot of possibilities because, again, it's not locked to specific tools, which is what makes this so cool. You can save your session so that you could return to it and then open it up later. Played around a little bit with that. It did seem to take some time. And again, there's a lot of data to compress in, so be aware of that but it's an option to you. Also, the idle timeout is very quick. It seems to be a couple of minutes. I let it sit for a minute or two while I was checking something. I came back and it had already closed out, so don't let it sit idle too long. With those caveats in mind, again, this is really cool to have on demand. It's ready and available to go. It comes loaded with Firefox. Sky's the limit here free virtual machine to try things out, test and, and proof of concept things, even if that's your game. So go check it out again. It's called Ubuntu free online Linux server. There will be again, a link in the description down below. I invite you to go try it out. You got nothing to lose. It's free. All right. Thanks so much again for joining in. I'm so glad you stuck with me to this point. Please do subscribe. Please do give me a thumbs up if this was helpful to you. Leave some comments and join the conversation because that's what makes us stronger together is learning through sharing experience. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for participating. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.